All right, today I'm in shift. Thank you for that. Today we are in shift. First of all, make sure, good morning, Diane. Make sure you always have a copy of the Millionaire Real Estate Handy. Uh, this is your playbook. We are all on track to become millionaire real estate agents. That means you are on track to gross a million dollars and then net a million dollars, receive a million dollars, and finally give away one million dollars. I walk like, talk like, look like, and have the checkbook of a millionaire real estate agent. How would you act if you actually were? What would you, what would you do different? What would you do different if you were already earning a million dollars a year and selling real estate today? Not that it's about the money, don't go there. Uh, how would you act if you were already netting a million dollars a year selling real estate? Would you do anything different? Would you worry less? So act as if you are. Act as if you are. Remember your subconscious doesn't know the difference between fact and affirmation. Now affirmations work in two ways, positive affirmations, negative affirmations. And believe it or not, well, let me ask a question first. What do you think your subconscious buys into quicker? Positive affirmations or negative affirmations? Negative, 100%, 100%. Like if you, if you trip and stumble and you say, oh, I'm so clumsy. You are programming your subconscious that you are clumsy. Absolutely. All right, I, I, can't ever, I can't remember anything. Well, cool, guess what? You're programming your subconscious that you can't remember anything. All right, that was a bunny trail. <laughs> Page 87, get to the table. All right, so we're talking about lead conversion. There's always two conversations in reference to hitting your real estate goals. It's either lead generation or it's lead conversion. And if you're not hitting your goals, the first question I'm going to ask you is talk to me about your lead generation. What does that look like? How many people are you talking to every day? What do those conversations sound like? Are you adding at least one person to your database every day? Are you finding someone who's thinking about selling their home every day? And if not, ramp up your lead generation, simple enough. Now, the next conversation is lead conversion because if you are hitting those lead generation standards and yet you're still not hitting your goals, then it's a lead conversion conversation. So get to the table. Here's what Gary has to say. Shifts create urgency. Work with energy and urgency. It's the Disney World story. When Colin got lost when he was four years old at Disney World, and for the next five minutes, we had one job, find our son. We worked with amazing urgency and energy. If you worked in your real estate business like that every day, what could you do? Shifts create urgency. The competition for leads becomes fierce and your only choice is to get your unfair share. This means you not only have to find leads before others, but, it also, but also convert them to appointments before they get away to others. So think about it like this. When you're having conversations with someone who comes to your open house, are they going to other open houses? Say yes. Are they talking to other real estate agents? Say yes, they are. If somebody is calling and asking for information on your new listing, are they calling other real estate agents and asking them for information on their listing? They are. If you understand how Zillow leads work, if somebody logs on to Zillow, and if you're paying for Zillow leads, cool. You're not the only one who's paying for those leads. Matter of fact, they're going to three. Is it three or is it four? Three. It's, they're going to three agents at the same time. Now, you and two other real estate agents are gonna follow up with that lead. 
They're going to talk to three people. More than likely, whoever gets to them first has the advantage, but whoever's mastered the conversations of real estate absolutely has the advantage. As quick as you can, you have to get to the people who want to do business. If I'm working internet leads, my time, the DEETS team standard for any incoming leads was 30 seconds. 30 seconds. If you've got a lead, respond to it in less than a minute. Chances are, if you don't, somebody else will. Moods swing and circumstances change. So have you ever had somebody tell you that they weren't ready to sell? And then 30 days later, there's a for sale sign in their yard. Am I the only person that's ever happened to anybody on the Zoom call, anybody in this room? I see heads nodding, right? So the question is, did that person lie to you? Or did they make a new decision based on new information? New decision based on new information. Thank you, Vivian. They made a new decision based on new information. They hired the, the more skilled real estate agent in that conversation. Now, don't get mad because it's happened to me before too. So I'm not saying that about any one of you. However, if I didn't get the listing and they hired somebody else, it simply means that person did a better job of converting the lead to an appointment to a listing. That's all. Hey, that's good news because I can do something about that. If I'm a victim, I can't do anything about that. But if I can look in the mirror and say, this is on me, I can fix that. Don't ever run out of questions, guys. What's the next question? What's the next question that's gonna to lead to a conversation that's gonna to lead to an appointment that's gonna to lead to a listing. Remember, logic, logic makes us think, emotion makes us act. Ask questions that get to, hmm. If I can get a seller to say, hmm, they're thinking. Now, once I do that, my next job is to get to emotion because I want them to act. And what's the action that we're looking for here? Take, us, take yourself off mute and tell me. I'm talking to you on the phone. You're somebody who's in my database and you're not ready to sell. <clears throat> not yet anyways. You're gonna wait six months for whatever reason. And let's say it's not a roadblock, it's whatever. What's the action that we're looking for? Logic makes us think. I wanna get them, hmm. <laughs> that means they're thinking. What's the action I'm looking for? I don't want to be wrong, so I don't want to sneak. <laughs> I want to get the uh, an appointment. I want to get, sure, let's get together and talk about what you could do to sell my house. You know, John, come to think of it, that was a really good question. Maybe we should get together and talk about putting my house on the market. There, that's the action I'm looking for. I'm getting them to make a new decision based on new information, leading with logic. What are the questions that you can ask that are going to get them to, hmm, which leads to maybe we should get together and have a conversation. Okay. The better you become at converting leads into appointments, the faster you will be able to move and the more opportunities you'll have. Hey guys, this is all good news. This means that when you master this, your business takes off. <clears throat> the National Association of Realtors research over the years has consistently, oh, by the way, top of page 88, has consistently communicated that the real competition in real estate is getting to the table, not at it. You want to be the Diet Coke of real estate. <laughs> if you ask me to name a soda, Diet Coke, ask me to name another soda, Diet Coke. I don't have another soda. 
you want to be the Diet Coke of real estate, except you're good for them. Diet Coke is not good for me. Their revealing statistics show that approximately two thirds of all buyers and sellers only interview one agent and approximately half of the remainder only interview two. So be number one or be number two. The competitive battle is almost single handedly won simply by getting an appointment before someone else does. My job is to get to the kitchen table before anybody else does, period. That's it. My job is to get on the phone every day, make care calls, lead with gratitude, focus on getting an appointment, getting a referral, add somebody to my database, building a relationship. Now, what if my job was every day find someone who invites me to come to their home and sit down at the kitchen table? If I offer to pay you a salary, here's the job description. Lead generate, go on listing appointments. These are the standards. Get to the kitchen table once every single day. That's it. Now I'm going to pay you $200,000 a year. And all you have to do is get to the kitchen table one time every day. Anybody interested in that job? Sure. Lucas. Yes, me too. Okay. I've got two. That's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and could they me. do it okay i heard of me there's three could they? that was vicky by the way yeah, i know all of your voices could they do it is that an impossible job am i setting you up for failure or could you do that yes. be careful yes. careful yes so if you're answering yes then my next question is why aren't you yeah <laughs> i tried and i failed Oof. So I don't even know what to do with that. Um, That's why so, I'm here. <laughs> okay, Vivian, I love yeah. you. I love you. Don't get hurt. Don't get your feelings hurt. Okay. She's, she's amazing. Vivian, are you walking? Do you walk? Do, do you walk? Do I walk? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you succeed at walking the very first time you tried it? No. Did you give up? No. There you go. Just that simple. Lucas. I was going to chime in and say that it's only failure if you stop. It's the only way to fail. Yeah. Well, there's actually two ways to fail. Never start and give up. Now, I talk to real estate agents every day who fail because they never start. In other words, they're afraid to make a change. Fear stops them from taking that leap of faith. It's never called a leap of Fear, you never hear anybody say, hey, take a leap of fear. No, it's a leap of faith. That is true. And they fail because they never start. It's hanging on to the rope. What are the ropes that you're hanging on to out of fear? Let go of the rope. Hmm. The competitive battle is almost single-handedly won simply by getting an appointment before someone else does. Halfway down second paragraph. Our industry is about getting appointments, buyer and seller agreements, and sales contracts. So if you don't get appointments, you won't get any agreements, and you won't get any contracts. To win at the table, you must first get to the table. To win at the table, you must first get to the table. Write it down, write it down, write it down. And you must get to the table before anyone else does. Now, this is a skill-based conversation because the real estate agent who has developed the highest level of skill when it comes to lead conversion is going to be the one who gets to the table before anyone else does. When I was lead generating every day, just like you are, I would have sellers tell me all the time as I'm sitting at the kitchen table, you know, John, we had hundreds of real estate agents call us. By the way, that's an exaggeration. Hundreds probably means there was 10, but we had hundreds of real estate agents call us and you're the only one that we invited to our house. And to be quite honest, we don't even know why we did. My response to that was cool. I am so glad you did. Thank you. It was never, yeah, I'm amazing, aren't I? No, don't do that. <laughs> All right, capture, connect, and close. Bottom of the page. Lead conversion is simple. Write it down, write it down, write it down. 
but still requires more than just winging it. Unfortunately, this is exactly what most agents do and what you should not do. Don't wing it. Be a professional. Professionals don't wing it. Be a skill-based agent. Master the skills that lead to success. Bottom of the page, leading over to page 89. Conversion success comes to those who intentionally and repeatedly do three things with every lead. Capture, connect, close. Capture, connect, close. Capture, connect, close. Listen to how we close every single survive to thrive call. Make care conversations, not sales conversations. Lead with gratitude. Bring value to every single conversation. Focus on getting an appointment, getting a referral, adding somebody to your database, building a relationship. Isn't that what Gary is saying when he says, capture, connect, close? Yes or yes? I told you I don't have any original information. Everything I've got, I stole from somebody else. I am just regurgitating what I've heard from people who are smarter than me, hoping that you'll stand on the shoulders of giants and model greatness. Not mine. People who have come before me. Capturing should always focus on getting enough information from someone so that you can connect with them. Your closing will seem effortless and likely lead to a decision to meet. You have a choice, repeatable and dependable or unpredictable and unreliable. Repeatable and dependable, this is a system conversation. Repeatable and dependable or unpredictable and unreliable. Unfortunately, there's real estate agents who are succeeding even though they're practicing unpredictable and unreliable lead generation systems. They're following the wrong models. They're succeeding because the market is hot. They're succeeding because of what they do well, but they're also succeeding in spite of what they don't do well. The problem with that is when we shift from a market of more to less, they look up and all of a sudden, uh-oh, now what? Many agents assume that a prospect will determine if they meet or not but listen to this so carefully. Many agents assume that a prospect will determine if they meet or not, but actually it will be you. When you're talking to that prospect on the phone, it's not the person you're speaking to who determines whether or not you're going to schedule an appointment. It's you. You're the one. They're either going to outscript you or you're going to outscript them. Somebody's going to win. Either your ability will, will cause a meeting to take place or your lack of ability will prevent it. This isn't a game of chance, but a game of scripts and systems. Gary said it, not me. Gary said it. <laughs> Scripts ensure that you efficiently say what needs to be said in the most powerful way with the least amount of effort. When you move to unconscious competence, it becomes effortless. Matter of fact, you can't help but speak in scripts. It's just part of you. I've told you before that Lacey will say, Lacey's my daughter, will say, dad, quit scripting me. And my response to that, Brandon, is, Lacey, it's the only way I know how to talk, <laughs> right? I have my agent leadership counsel. Their, their, their number one complaint about me, guess what it is? Too scripted. I'm like, well, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I can't talk if I don't use scripts. It doesn't mean I don't love you. It doesn't mean I don't 
care about you. I just have a script for every conversation we're going to have. All right. Because it is a script or dialogue you've practiced and internalized, you don't have to be a master of making things up as you go. Likewise, systems make sure that you are taking the right action at the right time with the least amount of effort. Painting by numbers doesn't require much thought or skill, but the outcome can be predictable and surprisingly successful. Buyer consultation, painting by the numbers, 14 point listing presentation, painting by the numbers. It's a system, just follow it. Right, Brian? Brian says yes. <laughs> Brian's having breakfast, so we don't wanna interrupt Brian. Looks like a breakfast burrito from McDonald's. <laughs> oh, it's a granola bar. I'm proud of you. Systems and checklists can channel your customer responses in the same way. That means when I'm sitting down at the kitchen table and I'm having a 14 point listing conversation with Clarissa, Hey, Clarissa, thank you so much for meeting with me today. It is always an honor and a pleasure to meet with a potential seller and discuss the possibility of the DEETS team representing them in the sale of their home. Now, before we get started, I'd like to start by sharing my mission statement with you. Would that be okay? Absolutely. Great. So my mission is to meet your goals and exceed your expectations. Now, because of that mission statement, whenever I meet with a potential seller, one of three things typically happen. Either number one, they hire me, which is awesome. Or number two, they don't hire me, which is not so awesome. And the third thing that occasionally happens is I may choose to turn the opportunity down. Now, when I meet with Lucas, Lucas, thank you so much for meeting with me today. It's always an honor and a privilege to meet with someone and discuss the possibility of the DEETS team representing them in the sale of their home. Before I get started today, would it be okay if I share my mission statement with you? And Jose, whenever I meet with a potential seller, one of three things typically happen. One of those three things are gonna happen today. Either number one, they understand. Do you guys hear I'm painting by the numbers, right? I've internalized this at such a level that I actually get bored. And I have to intentionally make sure that I'm smiling, make sure that I'm excited, make sure that I'm enthusiastic, because quite honestly, this is boring as hell. Just being honest. I've been, ha I've been doing this call for who knows how long. I've been in this room for six years, having this conversation every single day for six years. Do you think I'm excited about it every day? Say no. Do I show up with energy and passion every day? Yes. 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 I'm painting by the numbers. You guys get this? Mm -hmm. Now, if I can, you can. If Gary can, I can. And if I can, you can. Anybody can. Where am I? Ultimately, the key to success in setting appointments boils down to two things, knowing what to say and then knowing what to do. Know your scripts, follow a system. Know your scripts. Follow a system. Know what to say, paint by the numbers. Know what to say, paint by the numbers. Be a duck. They don't have a lot of scripts, just quack. They've got that one down. By the way, it works. Their system is get up and do the same darn thing every single day, no matter what. And that works too. All right, you'll need, go into the next page, need to master your scripts and dialogues for the former and implement simple systems and checklists for the latter. Former being scripts, latter being painting by the numbers. Second paragraph, top agents follow a proven path that allows them to consistently apply the right scripts and systems to each step in the process of capturing, connecting, and closing their leads. And the end result is what they're after, more appointments. Listen, 
The Emerald City is more appointments. The path is the yellow brick road. Just get on the road, stay on the road, and never stop. All right, talk to me. Yes. So it's almost like a deja vu that you're talking about because my, uh, actually my second or third listing appointment, I didn't get I didn't get the, uh, the listing, mm -hmm. the second and third. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> obviously, um, a lot of people would be like, you know, forget this because by the time I make money and all that. Mm -hmm. But what I learned, and I'm not saying this because John's in the room, but I learned by the, the scripts and role play and the mastering. Now I'm like, I, I'm so confident when I walk into someone's home. And I sit there and I don't even have to think about it because I know I'm a high eye, I admit it. But at the same time, I know what I'm talking about. And the trend graphics report and listening to those Richard Bass um, Zooms, I, I feel very confident. Love it. Love that. So. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because we think. Got my real estate license. And I joined Keller Williams. I attended some training. And 90 days later, here's where I'm at. A year later, here's where I'm at. Three years later, here's where I'm at. We think that's what success looks like, right? And in reality, It looks like that. Here's the thing. At any point between here and here, if I give up, now giving up comes in different forms. Looking for greener pastures, giving up. If I give up, then I never get here. Lucas. Um, okay, so that original X on the bottom left, yeah, that's the starting point. Yeah, and then the very top right, yeah, is the end. If you reverse engineer that and you put a ball on those lines, the one that has a line, the one that's curved, the ball will reach the bottom X first. So success is not always a straight line. You're gonna have to curve around. Yeah. So. Good. Uh, agree a hundred percent. You're going to have to put that in a visual and show it to me. Cause I can tell that's deep <laughs> and I'm not, and I'm not a hundred percent sure that I got it. Uh, however, I'm, I have the benefit of being in the room so I can, I can see Lucas as he's talking and Holy cow, the wheels are turning. There was literally smoke coming out of his ears. Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. It's awesome. Come on, give me some more ahas. We're not done yet. It's simple. I was it's just going to say, Vicki, I know you have something to say. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, it's simple. I mean, master scripts, more conversations equals more confidence. Focus on your goals. Keep moving. The more people you speak to, the better you'll get. Yeah. You know, the more confidence you get, you know, practice makes perfect. Yeah. You know, everybody's afraid. Just like you said, it's that failure. Nobody wants to make those conversations, but the more you make them and so you make mistakes, you'll learn from the mistakes. You feel that confidence and you can bring it the next time. Good job, Vicki. Good job. Yeah. Yes. Um, so for the ladder, which is implementing the systems and the checklist. What, and I feel like I already know this answer by the MREA, but so you get the scripts, you get the appointment. What's the system that you're following, like the checklist? For, for, for a listing appointment? No, just afterwards, after any appointment. Well, follow up, of course. okay, so yeah, so there's a lot of different systems. The system that I'm following in order to get the listing is my 14 point listing presentation. The system that I'm following in order to sell your home is my marketing plan. It's a, it's a checklist. Another word for systems is a checklist. So 
Stage the property, check. Schedule photographs, check. Write masterful um, marketing remarks in the listing in order to attract buyers, check. It's everything that I'm doing in order to get the property under contract. And then when the property's under contract, there's another checklist. It's contract to close. And there's approximately 180 items that are on that contract to close list. So you're either going to do those 180 things that are part of contract to close system, paint by the numbers, or you're going to hire a transaction coordinator, one box, and let them do it. Yeah. I'd recommend that. Yeah. All right. I've got 934. It's time to go, which means, oh, Yagada. It wouldn't be survived to thrive without Yagada visiting with us. Talk to us. Hi, John, just quick. Um, you said uh, you were told you are always scripted. So yes. are you saying you are, you're constantly playing the same role? Not like for for movie, for example, I've heard that, we, we've seen it for six months if they're filming, they are in that role. You are basically permanently in that role. Is that right? Well, no, not necessarily. It's just every conversation becomes a scripted conversation. And it's not that you're being robotic. It's not that you don't care. It's just you develop a pattern of conversation that becomes consistent from one role to another. So for me, one of the roles that I play is I'm a father. And when I'm having conversations with Colin and Lacey, I'm still have the same pattern of communication. And because I've been working on this for such a long time, it becomes, and it sounds very scripted. Okay. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. All right, so time to get to work. By the way, this is a script. <laughs> time to get to work. What is work? Work is 20 conversations, not 19, not 18, not 17 conversations, because when we have 17 conversations, we don't have the 18th conversation, which could have been a million dollar listing that we didn't get because we didn't have the conversation. And we don't know that we didn't get the opportunity because we didn't have the conversation. And we quit at number 17 because it was close enough or be, because we lied to ourselves and told, told and, and said, we're gonna make it up tomorrow, which we won't. It's 20 conversations, it's a standard. Make care calls, not sale calls. Always lead with gratitude. Thank you for taking my call. I appreciate you. Bring value to every single conversation. Focus on either getting an appointment, getting a referral, <laughs> adding somebody to your database, or building a relationship and building a relationship. Find somebody today that is thinking of selling their home. Whether it's six days from now, 30 days from now, a year from now, doesn't matter because you're looking for opportunity, period not opportunity right now. Get face to face with somebody who's thinking of selling their home and then follow up forever because you reject rejection and no is not a word that lives in your vocabulary. No simply means not yet. Remember that people will never change their mind, but what they will do is make a new decision based on new information. And when you're following up forever, you're creating emotional proximity, which simply means when I'm ready to sell my home, when I'm ready to buy a, buy a home, I'm gonna hire the person who is closest to me. Now, when you do that, and you've created an opportunity for them to make a new decision based on new information, Clarissa, that new decision is going to be to- Hire me. Hire me. <laughs> okay. Make it a great day, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you, John. Have a great day.